You discover a scroll on the top of the pile that looks freshly signed. You open it and read. I, the newly appointed despot Zorak, order the second column to round up any suspected traitors to the Shadow Queen. I have included a list of these seditious rebels of this so-called fifth column and other suspicious individuals. They should be treated as dangerous and imprisoned at once. Despot Zorak, on behalf of Warlord Baylord the Broken Fang. Let me see the list. Of, of the mantises of Sardonyx unnamed. They'll burn the city down to keep their hooks in it. Fifth column rebels in the diabolical garrison? That just makes it easier to cross you off my list. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nadeza, the spicier, and Zelda the Phantom Knight being held. In the Troika dungeons. But they'll have company soon enough. My hunters have gone to round up everyone on that list. You are allies, but if the second column is marching on the town, we must warn those we can, yes? Take Sarazenia and warn the people! We'll go as fast as we can. Keep watch for the floating eyes of the Shadow Queen. If you smash any that you find, the troops may be slowed down. Warn the people on the list. Smash any of the eyes of the Shadow Queen you come across.
the second column is looking for me. Thank you for the warning, stranger. The second column is looking for me. Thank you for the warning, stranger. The second column is looking for me? Thank you for the warning, stranger. Yourself at risk to warn me? I will not forget this, Lightbringer. People are talking. Much better knowing we've raised the alarm across the city. You need to go into the Troika Palace and rescue the prisoners. However, they'll be watching the main gates. It has been a long time, but I remember how to get in through the Soothsayer Gate. I will open it for you and meet you inside. Through the Soothsayer Gate and into the Troika Palace, find our allies and rescue them. You have been here more recently than me. Lead on, Spellbinder. Spellbinder, I see you bested my guards. But as you see, it was not enough to free your friends. Zorak, can't you see the Shadow Queen has no love for us? She's turning Mantis against Mantis. Desperate Zorak to you, Zero. I mean... Nameless political dissident? Guards, make an example of them! Bring their remains to me in the dungeons.
We have failed, and now there's nothing to stop you from chasing Despot Zorak down into the dungeons. Wizard, we are watching your victories. Be aware that one of Morgant's warlords is skulking about, the Dreadbear Baylor. Baylor hails from Avalon, but he studied with the battle wizards of Dragonspire and is protected by draconian forged armor. Further, since the repair of Eclipse Tower and defeat of Ghost Dog, Morgant has empowered her warlords with shadow magic. What is left of the spellbinding? No! It cannot be! How could you have bested my guards? I am the lone locust of the apocalypse! Zorak, you are nothing. You! You are right. I surrender. Here is the key to the dungeons. Don't bite my head off! I'll bite your head off and place it on a stake! But first, spellbinder, we fight! This will be a joy, with the scent of hot blood and the sound of screams!
by the shadow it cannot be. The day is yours, but know that we shall meet again for the reckoning. Spellbinder, I cannot believe you won that battle. I owe you a great deal, it seems. We are both in your debt, but let us shed this place and return to friendly faces. Zorak can stay here for now. victory over despot Zorak and warlord Baylor has spread like pollen over the city. An uprising is in the wind. Mantis fights Mantis, and sister battles sister, as more and more join the fifth column. There will be blood, but we have hope. The good Mantises can follow the starlight out of the shadow, but you must study a brighter light to face the Shadow Queen. To be truthful, I thought the Solar Ark was a myth, but you have shown me many impossible things. So I delved into the archives. The chronicles say, before approaching the Solar Ark, one must meditate at the three fountains of the land. However, Baylor had the fountains turned off. Speak to Nadesa. She knows how to restore them. I will research more. Ask Nadesa the Spice Seer how to restore the three fountains of the land. In the meantime, I will research further. continues to make great progress, though the Loyalist resistance is strong. Ezekiel sent you. Zelda and I were just discussing him. We think he should replace Zorak on the Troika Council. You wish to restore the fountains of the land? Baylor ordered them shut off as another sign of our objection. Zelda the Phantom Knight knows more about how to restore them. Ask her. Reading Spellbinder, Nadeza and I have become critical leaders in the Rebellion. I'm not sure I should thank you, but at least it keeps things interesting. You need to restore the fountains of the land. The first is the Walking Flower Fount, devoted to the growing season. I believe Warlord Baylor had the Night Feeders remove the fountain's gears. If you challenge the Night Feeders, I'm sure they will give up the gears. Then you can restore the Walking Flower Fount. Challenge the Night Feeders for the gears you'll need to reactivate the Walking Flower Fount. to find a panel that opens to reveal simple but cunning gears and levers. You delicately replace the gears, and voila! You meditate on the movements and rotations, symbolizing life and vibrancy, and it makes you feel invigorated.
I'm glad to hear you were successful. The charred leaf found represents the dying time. Leaves dry and crumble and turn to ash. Much like the dreams of the Shadow Queen, yes? I'm sure you can rekindle the eternal flame with an ounce of your magic. The trick will be to lead an offensive against the raptorial sentries to drive them back so they don't interfere with you. Attack the raptorial sentries to drive them back, then light the eternal flame on the charred leaf found. upon the flame for a time, feeling much of your anxiety burn away. You take a handful of charred leaves from it. You conjure up a wisp of mana, and it gets sucked up greedily by the fountain. A moment later, it bursts into a small flame. Did it work? Ah, yes. I can sense the smoky aura around you. The third of the sacred fountains is known as the Black Roller Fount. However, I have no idea how to empower it. Fortunately, one of our allies in the fifth column moved into the Tower of Pale Beauty after you ousted Drepper Hooktip. Find Simone Randomwing and ask her about the Black Roller Fount. Seek out Simone Randomwing in the Tower of Pale Beauty and ask her about the Black Roller Fount. your comings and goings, the wondrous things you must have seen over your journey. Amazing. But I realize you have little time. You need to empower the Black Roller Fount? Why, certainly. Take this miniature sand devil and release it in the Fount's bowl. After the restoration is complete, inform Ezekiel. You are preparing for the Conda Desert. Once you enter those bad lands, search for my sister, Logan Spiral Glider. She will aid you. Take the miniature and remember, once you enter the Conda Desert, search for my sister, Logan Spiral Glider. You release the little sand into the polished stone bowl, and it immediately kicks up a miniature twister of a storm. You meditate on the frenetic energy and the powerful forces writ small, and reflect upon how chaos is needed to change the world. I heard you restored all three fountains of the land. While you were attending to the fount, I was researching more of the ancient chronicles. They imply, once the lands of Mantis and Burrower are renewed and the sun's light made manifest, only then will the way through shadow be revealed. Although one could translate renew as bridge. To be safe, Nadessa Zelda and I want you to go back to Bastion. Tell Zoltana we want her to be the official ambassador from Zotake Zengziu to Bastion. Give her this badge. Go 
to Bastion and tell Zoltana the Mirror Mask we promoted her to an ambassadorial office. Spellbinder? I did not expect to see you so soon. How fare things in my homeland? The news you bring is bittersweet, but still full of hope. I am pleased Zarozinia helped you oust the Shadow Queen's warlord. Zarozinia will be a good ally to the Troika Council, and with luck they will re-establish control over the city soon. Now, why have you returned? To promote me to ambassador? Thank you for the honor, I think. King Pyatt should hear of your progress. Report to him before you return to Ezekiel the Lucent in the city of Sardonyx. Report to King Pyatt, and then return to Ezekiel the Lucent in the city of Sardonyx. Spellbinder, we had not heard word for some time now, and we were growing concerned. How do you fare? The city of Sardonyx is in revolt? I never imagined I would see this day. And thank you for building this bridge between us. You will return immediately. However, I am sending an ally to guide you through the alien ways of the Hopper tribes. Divin Whiteart was worried about you, and wanted to make sure he could help you in your final struggles against the Shadow. I am ready to see the edge of the world. Successful? Good, good. Oh, who is... Th Greetings, friend Mantis. I am Divum Whiteheart, sworn sword of King Piat Morning Sword of Bastion. You are prepared for the Conda Desert. A harsh and tormented land, still very much in the grip of the Shadow Queen. Heed the words of the Priestess Simone in search for the moth, Logan Spiral Glider in the House of the Saturnid. Good luck to you, Spellbinder. And to you, Samaps. Head into the Conda Desert and look for Logan Spiral Glider in the House of the Saturnid.
comes here for the House of the Saturnid. My sister, Simone Randomwing, sent sign to expect you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The desert leads to the spiked jaws of the atrimental gate of the hive, but also spirals away into the deep desert. Somewhere out there is the Valley of the Dark Sun and the Solar Ark. A desert hopper could guide you through that hostile land. Hoppers often raid Camp Arrowweed and Umbra Hall. Search there for hopper sign. Perhaps you can think like a mouse. What's that supposed to mean? In any regard, I just hope these hoppers aren't savage meat-eaters, as the tales say. 